question four. Uh, we have our cat. It's hiding in a box. And together they have a mass of 23 kilograms. If you apply 65 newtons of force to the box, it will slide with a constant speed along the floor. There is friction between the floor and the box. Determine that coefficient of friction. Okay, so we've got a box. And we've got our furry friend hiding in the box. The total mass of the box is 23. Uh, we have to push, we can draw this on either side, but we're going to push it with 65 newtons of force in order to get this box to slide uh, with some constant velocity. So that is a key word in here, that it is a constant velocity. Okay, constant velocity that way. There is some friction, so friction will always oppose the motion. So if the box is being pushed this way, Friction will always oppose the motion of the box. So friction would go that way. And I need to determine that coefficient. I know that the coefficient of friction is buried inside of the friction formula for friction force. Okay, so let's start drawing this out a little bit better. We'll see kind of what's going on. So first off, I'm going to do a free body diagram. Even though I already have a picture, I want to make a free body diagram so that it looks cleaner. And I'll label out all of the forces. Right now I have the acting force, which is us pushing on it with 65 newtons. I have the friction force being pushed back. Okay, And I know that the friction force is mu times the normal force. Okay, Normal force, that's the ground pushing up. Okay, I know that that one's the ground pushing up. Now we don't have a nice equation for the frick, for the normal force. It depends on the problem, so I can't write anything for that yet. And then of course the last force that we have is gravity. Gravity always pulling us straight down. And since this is a nice flat floor, um, we'll go ahead and we can assume that everything is nice and perpendicular to each other. I have a equation for the gravitational force, which is mg. Okay. Um, since I have a mass, and I know g is 9.8, I can go ahead and solve for this. Uh, but what I want to do first is get them into their sums. So I'm going to have the total sum of the force in the x and the total sum of the force in the y. So when writing these out, we have to now look and see, well, what kind of problem is this? So in the x direction, is there any acceleration that is occurring overall as the net force? Is there any constant or... Uh, acceleration that is occurring? And the answer is no. It tells us that it's going at a constant velocity. So a constant velocity in one direction means that there is no acceleration, so this is a zero. Same can be said about the y. Is the box accelerating up and down in the y direction? Well, no. It moves straight across the floor and maintains its one position, so this is also a zero. Now, what we have to do, now that we know that they're both zero, we set our, our vectors up to them. So what's the forces in the x direction? Well, we have 65 newtons being pushed in the positive direction. So let me put 65. And I have the friction force being in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna put that one as a minus, and that one will be a mu f n. Now mu is what we're looking for, that's our coefficient. So if I can figure out what f n is, that then solves my equation. So i got to find a way to find Fn, and how to do that is I go through the y. In the y, I know it's 0. I know that Fn points up, the normal force. And I know that Fg points down, so I'm going to have a minus mg. If this is equal to 0, I can just move mg to the other side, and that will tell me that the normal force is equal to mg. Now that I know what the normal force is equal to, I can plug it into my first equation. Okay, so let me do that over here. So I'm going to have 65, and I'm going to add this whole mess to the other side. So I have 65 is equal to mu, the normal force I will replace with mg. Okay, so now I'm looking for mu. I know what m is. m was given in the problem as 23. So let me put in 23, and I know what g is. That's just a constant due to gravity. That's 9.8. So to solve for mu, I just take my 65, and I need to divide it by whatever 23 times 9.8 is. And for an answer, I get that mu 
is equal to 0 0.2, I guess it would go to 2.88, uh, which is what our answer is up here. So that's how we end up getting our meal.